Hi. All right, we are live. That's great. Um, got to turn off the notifications. Hi guys, I hope you had a great Sunday so far. As usual, I want to give you... Um, oh, hold on, my computer. I need to turn that off. All right. So as usual, I want to start with giving you guys some updates about what's going on in my workshop and stuff like that. Then let's talk about the past two videos that I uploaded. It's the, the magnetic key. I don't have it with me right now. The magnetic key and the video that I uploaded today, which was the height adjustable shelf. Um, and then I want to answer some of your questions. Uh, Lucy is not with us today, so um, I asked you guys to write the questions in the chat that was already live one hour before before now, so one, one hour before we uh, started the stream. The chat is usually live for at least 30 minutes before we start, so for the future, if you really want to get your question out there, you can always use the chat before we go live. And I, I read all of the all of the um, comments there. It's really hard for me to to read the comments now. Oh, hey, Miles, that's cool to see you. Hi, um, because I can't focus on it all together. So since Lucy's not here, I won't be able to answer any questions that are popping up while we're live. So anyways, uh, let's start with some updates. Um, 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 um. Oh, yeah, first thing I want to show you. If you follow me on Instagram, you already saw these. Um, Wow, they're a bit reflective. I made these postcards for my Patreon supporters. So everybody who supports me with over five um, dollars, I sent them a patch and some stickers. And now also this this postcard, which will be signed. It has a pretty fancy back as well. Um, and also for everybody who orders in my orders something in my online store, I will have these signed postcards um, and some stickers and stuff like that. So just as a thank you, uh, the picture was actually taken at Jimmy's shop, Jimmy the Resto's shop, um, Brent, uh, Brent Busquet, I hope I'm pronouncing the name correct, took this with a medium format camera. It was pretty cool. That was a pretty cool setup. I really like the picture. So yeah, if you order in my store or if you're a patron supporter with over five bucks, I will send you one of these cards. And talking about the online store, finally, um, I made some progress with the dog tags. If you remember, when I was at Jimmy's farmhouse, we went to this army surplus store and this guy, I hope you can see this, um, the guy who, who owned the store had this original, is that? Oh, that way. I'm not sure if it's flipped now or not. Um, he has had the original dog tag uh, embossing machine from the Second World War, I think, and I absolutely love the type. It's so so cool, and I think the concept of having the always do favors, never take orders uh, embossed on the dog tag, dog tag is pretty funny. So I thought about producing these, but I had trouble finding a supplier that has the right font or the right type because I really like how these came out. Um, there's one in Cologne, but they made them like that and I yeah I don't I don't like it at all I'm I'm not happy with that I wouldn't want to sell these so finally I found another supplier and I am pretty happy I am pretty happy with that type so I just ordered uh, a couple of these I will have a limited run to begin with just to see if you guys are interested so probably next week i will offer them in the online store and i hope a couple couple of you guys are looking forward to buying these dog tags anyways um i will be in england at the end of the month from the 29th of september until the 1st of october i will be at the Screwfix live show together with my sponsor triton um i think that's in farnborough farnborough not sure how that is pronounced, but this is where I'm going to be. If you're at the show, please stop by and say hi. I will definitely have some stickers with me. I'd love to chat with you. Um, I will be at the fair for a couple days, so there will be plenty of time to talk. Uh, yeah, just let me know. Just let me know if you can make it. And then, yeah, we can hang out, grab a coffee. Um, we just crossed uh, 600 patrons, which I think is incredible. So there are 600 people or more than 600 people supporting me on Patreon. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, that feels really good to be, to be, it's, it is pronounced Farnborough. 
Van Brr. All right. Um, okay, so last li the last live stream we had, um, I asked you guys if it was like enough content to make the magnetic key video or to make a video about the magnetic key. And you guys said yes, and I'm so glad that you did and that you that you said I shouldn't worry about these little projects. They can be interesting too because the video is really successful. It's uh, 100,000 views in a week, which is which is a lot, especially because we're still kind of in the summer uh, summer hole, so there are not too many clicks. Um, but yeah, I'm super happy with the video, and I really want to do more of these smaller projects because. I don't know, it, it, it gives me more freedom to focus on the story and really play around with the shots with my beautiful new macro lens. I, I just had a great time shooting that video and I'm so happy that you guys um, enjoyed it as well. And this week's video was the adjustable shelf. Um, yeah, I don't know, I had that concept in mind for a couple of months now, I think. Um, but I ne never really got to it and I never knew how practical it really would be. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it all the time. Probably not. It's more like a concept thing. I really wanted to know how it works out. Um, and it was interesting. So when I, uh, I, I didn't really plan anything. I just got started. I bought some angle iron. I had oak in my shop. So I was, um, I had all the materials there and then this was the first piece that I cut that was off camera just to figure out the dimensions. And that's actually, that one didn't work out. I think, yeah, this is about 20 centimeters. I wanted to make um, a bit more shallow shelves to begin when I started, um, but it doesn't work like that. The, the, the movement is not enough. Um, the height, like the height difference would have been probably like that. And that's that's the way I work. Like I never draw anything. I wouldn't even know how to figure this out theoretically. So I always jump into it and get started, and then I see where the problems are, and then I adjust, and then I just um, adjust accordingly. So I realized the shelf has to be a little bit longer in order to have a greater distance for this to travel. And then the the height um, difference will be much bigger. So yeah, I decided instead of 20 centimeter uh, deep shelves, I would have to go with 25. And that was actually, that did, did the trick. And the rest was pretty straightforward, especially because I experimented with this scissor thing um, with my industrial lamp that should be flying around somewhere in the background. Um, I built this, this, mechanical stuff before so I was I was pretty confident that I could that I could get it to work um anyways I'm not sure as I said how oh we just got a new patreon that is awesome um as I said I'm not sure how often I'm really going to use this uh but it was a cool concept and that's what it's all about and I really enjoyed the video uh shooting it and editing it editing it um the song I chose this time was a lot slower than I usually I uh, like to, yeah, I like to edit, but it was really relaxing. And I think, yeah, I think it was a good choice. <laughs> Anyways, um, uh, was there anything else I wanted to update you guys? Dog text, pigeon screw fix, postcards. Oh yeah, I got a lot of questions about the, the little vise that I have. Uh, okay, hope the stream doesn't... Uh, yeah, it's it's over there at my drill press. You know the vice from all my videos. Um, I got a couple questions about that. I, I got it on a flea market, so I don't know where to get it, but it's really cool because you can turn it and you can tilt it. It's super old and I actually got it for five euros, which is nothing. It's super heavy, very, very sturdy, and it's probably one of my most used tools in the shop. It's super handy. So if you find these things, it's like, Obviously for five bucks it's worth it, but it's yeah, like it doesn't matter how much it is. This is so handy. Try it, try and buy it if you come across one of these on a flea market or something. I wouldn't know where to get them um, new, but yeah. Anyways, I have a pretty cool um, new video series planned. So 
Uh, I have to go back to so the, the whole story makes sense. But a couple of you guys know, because I talked about it before, the first proper workshop that I had, that was a big warehouse. A, well, it wasn't huge, maybe like 150 square meters, I would say, or 120 square meters. It's probably it. Um, and it was just an empty warehouse. And I had my, I had a little caravan, probably about four meters long, super lightweight. You can even um, drive it without a special license. It's like the smallest caravan that you can get. And I had this caravan in my warehouse and that's where I used to live. And that was the, I don't know, that was the best time ever. I just enjoyed it so much to one, be inside of my workshop all the time and also to live very reduced that was um that was really like a life-changing experience for me so i lived in that caravan for i think four years four or five years and there was no heating uh as i said i didn't have any room so like the clothes i had maybe like 10 shirts two pants and two sweaters and that's it i i had to reduce everything because there was no room and i really want to go back to that. So ever since then, in the, in the last um, probably four years, since I'm not in that workshop anymore, uh, I now live in a much bigger place. I have too much stuff. I have too many clothes. I have too many, uh, I don't know, plates. And I, I don't want any of that anymore. So I decided I have to make a change and I want to go back to living super reduced again. So since I can't put my caravan inside of this workshop and I also don't want to leave this workshop, um, I thought that I, it would be really cool to buy an old shipping container and then <clears throat> transform that into kind of a tiny house thing. Um, but I really just need a, I don't know, I, I just want to focus on the most essential things. So obviously I will need a place to, to cook a little bit and then a bed. And then I will need my music and I will need my computer to edit. And that's pretty much it. So the, the containers, they are six meters long and 250 wide. And I think that's plenty of room. So yeah, my plan is to buy a shipping container and then friends of mine, they will move into the house where I live now and the container will be parked outside of the house so that I actually can use the bathroom because I don't want to, yeah, I think it's, I don't know, maybe I'm, <laughs> I don't want to be that reduced um, that I have like the, the shower next to the bed and all that. So I think it would be really cool to have the, the, the like a proper shower, proper bathroom, but the container is outside and I, I live there with, with Smudo. So I am super excited about this. I can't wait to, uh, I don't know, I can't wait to get started. Right now I'm just looking for a container um, and then I need to organize the transportation. I think I will, I will try to park it in front of my store until I'm done with, with building it and then we have to move it again to the house. It is in, like, it's a huge project and I'm, uh, I'm so excited for that. And I also wanna obviously make videos about that transformation. And I thought maybe you can give me some feedback, um, especially, uh, yeah, no, yeah, just give me some feedback on that. And I thought it might be good if this is like a separate video series to switch up the content a little bit, try something new. And I think I will actually, I actually want to talk in these videos. What do you guys think? Because I feel the videos that I do now, I don't know, it's, um, the story can be told visually. Um, but I feel if I'm doing these very practical projects, it's always nice if I have a, if I can explain a little bit better why I made these decisions. So I think, okay, some positive feedback on the talking. That's also, oh, hey, Red, what's up? Um, yeah, so I don't know. I'm, I'm super excited. I can't, I can't wait to get started. Oh, post-apocalyptic inventor. Nice. I mean, I wish I could talk and read at the same time, but I'm, I'm just not, I can't do it anyway. So I will try to ignore the comments. Um, yeah, talking videos, I'm, I don't know. I'm roughly guessing that there would be at least 10 videos, right? I mean, building a complete container, there's so much cool stuff to do. And I, I can't wait to have this place and like actually everything that's in there, I, I want to be like super special and 
handmade by me. So I don't want to buy anything basically. And I, yeah, as I said, I want to reduce my clothes. I could probably just go with shirts that, that other people give me. And uh, yeah, I don't know, just get rid of some stuff. Basically what I want to do is minimize everything that I need and focus on the stuff that I really want. So like my shop, I have plenty of room here. I, I can hang out if, um, if I need a bit more space uh, or if I wanna have friends over, like we can always go to the shop, but yeah, I, I really can't wait to, to reduce my personal stuff. Yeah. And um, yeah, man, it's really, really cool. So let's, uh, let's hope that, um, oh, the Moloko vinyl, nobody, nobody, um, somebody's asking about the Mo Moloko vinyl. So far, I haven't heard from anybody who has it. Um, I know that there's one vinyl on, um, on the internet for 300 bucks and obviously I don't want you to buy that. I want to trade with somebody who already has it from the 90s and it's like, oh, I don't listen to vinyl anyways. I'd rather have the lamp or whatever, you know, I'm flexible because I really want that vinyl. So, but so far I haven't heard anything. Anyways, back to the shipping container. This will be my new, um, this will be my new project thing and actually it's pretty perfect because we're starting the Schrott or not shooting in a couple of weeks which means that my workshop will be super occupied and um, I won't have too much time so I think it will be a great it will be great to still be able to produce content if I make videos about the container which will be in front of my shop so I can shoot there um, whenever we take a break with shooting the TV thing or you know over the weekends and I don't actually have to be in the shop because every, everything will be a little bit different. Like last time they, they reorganized the whole shop. So I think it will, it's very possible that I'll be able to do the TV show and still keep my weekly schedule because I will be able to shoot outside, which is great. Um, all right, man, we're already 17 minutes in. I think uh, I want to move to the Q&A thing then. I, I don't have anything else to talk about. Like, oh, guys, I'm so excited for the shipping container. If you, um, yeah, if you have any experience with that, don't hesitate to write me an email. Uh, yeah, I I'd love to hear it. Anyway, so there were some questions in the chat before we got live. Um, and one was about where, where do I, or was one question was, where do you buy your wood in Cologne? And I've answered that a couple of times and I never get tired to answer that again, because it's a great, great place here in Cologne. Um, it's called Karl Kohl. And that's in Deutz and they have an incredible selection. They have everything that you can ask for. Also, they have a huge selection of um, veneers. So if you're in the area, check out that store. It's, it's perfect. And also tell them hi, because they really like that. <laughs> they, they, they think the YouTube thing is super funny and they're like, they're from a different generation. So they're always, I don't know, they don't understand how it works really, but they really like that people come and say like, yeah, I saw something on YouTube. So now we're here. They, they really enjoy that. And so do I. So if you, if you visit them, tell them I said hi. Um, somebody asked me how much of my work is prepared. I did talk about that a little bit before. I don't prepare anything. I, um, I mean, I, I mean, uh, the only thing I prepare obviously is, is to get the materials, but I don't make any sketches. I don't calculate anything. Um, so I just get started and I think improvising, like if you're really good at improvising, you're good at anything, like you're always prepared. So that's, that's where I want to get myself. Like that's, that's when I, that's probably the skill that I want to excel at the most is just being able to wing it, being able to improvise it. Um, and I think that's also why I enjoy these live streams quite a lot because I'm, I'm, I, I don't prepare anything, um, except writing down some, some notes over the week, stuff that I want to talk about. But, um, I think it's really cool to just wing it. Um, another question was the oldest tool that I have and that I still use. That is my angle grinder. Well, I think it's in the other room. But that's my uh, my angle grinder. That was one of the first tools that I bought. It was the angle grinder and a very uh, shitty Makita drill, like the little ones that can't stand up by themselves. I don't have that anymore because it, it really bothered me. But um, the angle grinder is still one of my favorite tools. It is so versatile and I just, I just enjoy the angle grinder. Uh, most difficult tool to get comfortable with. I would say from my experience, it's the, it's the metal lathe. 
I'm not really comfortable with working with that. I do. I only have like the little tiny watchmaker lathe. Um, when I was at Jimmy's place, he let me use his bridge port and it's very intimidating and you really have to know what you're doing. Um, that's not a tool that you can just buy and start playing around with. The wood lathe a bit more, like I, I definitely, I never worked on a wood lathe and I bought one on eBay and then I, you know, you just, you, you will figure it out. If you're, you have to be careful obviously, but yeah, you can figure that out. The metal lathe, not so much. It's more difficult. You really have to know your stuff. Um, favorite snack when I'm hungry in the shop is definitely nachos, but I'm trying to change that. I'm trying not to snack junk food anymore. I'm trying to stay a little bit more healthy, especially because I'm working so much. Um, I realized like I, I can't, I, I have to give my body something that is useful. Um, oh, another patron supporter. That's awesome. Um, yeah, so I have to treat my body right and that's why I stopped eating junk food and I also started working out. <laughs> but I do love nachos. Um, there was another question, do you ever screw up? Yes, I screw up all the time. Again, like that was a mistake, but I only consider it a proper screw up if you really drop the project. Um, and I rarely do that. Usually there's always a way to turn it around or to start over. Um, so yeah, that's screwing up is, have you tried nachos with jalapeno? Oh yeah, yes, yeah. Um, like spicy nachos with jalapen jalapenos? How do you say that? Really good. Anyways, I screw up all the time. I screw up so much that people don't notice anymore, I would say. <laughs> Um, and there was a question about the tiny house movement. I kind of answered that with my shipping container plans. I'm, yes, yes, I'm all for the tiny house movement. I'm all for minimizing. And if you haven't seen my video, um, it's a really shitty video because I did that a couple years ago, way, way, way before I got into YouTube, um, where I built my little caravan. Uh, I think it's called L Laura's tiny caravan or something. Check out that video if you haven't seen it just for the product that I, that I built, just for the final result. I think it's really, really cool. So when I was working at that, on, when I was working on that caravan, I actually did a lot of research about tiny house stuff. <sighs> and yeah, I'm all about it. It's really good. It's a really, really good idea, I think. Um, all right. So this is 22 minutes. I have a recommendation of the week. It's not music this time. I'm not even sure, maybe I talked about it before, but the Fantasy Film Fest is going on right now in Germany. So, all of you guys in Germany, if you like scary movies, please check out the Fantasy Film Fest. It is my favorite time of the year. It's, the, it's just the best. It's in different um, German cities, uh, obviously Cologne. Then it's Munich, Hamburg, Stuttgart, Berlin, Frankfurt and Nuremberg. If you live in these cities and if you like, like um, scary movies, horror movies, there's a lot of splatter, there's some anime, indie productions, really, really awesome movies. I saw most of my favorite movies that I've ever seen, I, al I always saw them on the, on the Fantasy Film Fest. It's just the best. So it is starting in Cologne at the 21st, but tomorrow the pre-sale starts and the opening film this year is It, the new It movie. And I cannot wait to see it. And I also saw, like, if you go to the Fantasy Film Fest site, they have all the trailers there. There are some really, really cool movies, um, or at least trailers. They look super promising. Um, it, obviously, I have to see that. I kind of grew up with that, with that movie, and I still cannot walk over the um, manhole covers because I'm super scared at night. Um, then I saw a really good trailer for a movie called Jungle with... Um, Ah, I'm escaping his name now, like the, the Harry Potter guy. What's his name again? Uh, Radcliffe, Daniel Radcliffe. Jungle, that was a really good trailer. Then the, uh, the movie about Jeffrey Dahmer, uh, My Friend Dahmer is called. Um, there's another trailer about a game show movie thing called This Is Your Death. That looked super interesting too. Another trailer called Super Dark Times. And they also have um, a... Um, like a short film thing where they show five to six short films and that is almost always good. <laughs> Some of those short films are super weird, but there's um, always at least one or two that are really good. 
Um, anyway, so if you're into that stuff, check out the Fantasy Film Fest. I will drive there tomorrow and buy tickets for the movies that I just named. I hope I, I, hope I can see them all. Uh, so excited for this. All right, so I think that's it. Let's wrap it up. Um, yes, let's wrap it up. I'm actually meeting a friend now and we're taking the dogs to the Rhine. It's a beautiful day. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, enjoy the sun a little bit. And yeah, stay safe, guys, and I see you in two weeks. Bye-bye.